In this video, we're gonna go over the ways that you can improve your first input delay. Now, a good FID score needs to have a first input delay of less or equal to 100 milliseconds. You will get the score needs improvement if it's between 100 and 300 milliseconds. And on the other hand, a poor score is beyond 300 milliseconds. And odds are, if you're watching this video, you may have a score that needs improvement or is poor. So let's go over how you can fix that in today's video. Starting off with defer JavaScript. By deferring JavaScript files, these render blocking resources will be loaded after the browser has rendered the most relevant content. As a result, the loading time will improve as well as the FID grade. Once you have identified the JS resources to defer, you should add the defer attribute to the JavaScript files. Here is an example of that defer attribute that you can use. Now, if you want an easier way to use this, you can use our plugin WP Rocket, where we have a load JavaScript deferred feature that you can find in the file optimization tab. You'll also be able to exclude specific JS files from being deferred in case you need this option due to any conflict. Next is to remove the unused JavaScript. You can also tackle the JavaScript issues by removing the unused JavaScript files that slow downloading time and make the interactivity worse. Unused JavaScript files are the JavaScript resources not essential for rendering the page or not useful at all. Examples of unused JS files are the third-party JavaScript files such as analytics and add tracking codes. And actually, PageSpeed Insights Reports shows you a list of all the unused JS files that you should take care of. Now, when it comes to tackling unused JavaScript files, you have two options. You can load the JavaScript files only when needed, and you can use plugins like Perf Matters and Assets Cleanup to load these files only when needed, or you can delay the JavaScript files. Delaying JavaScript resources means that the JavaScript files won't be loaded until the first user interaction, such as scrolling or clicking a button. Now, to delay JavaScript files, you can use a free option such as flying scripts. Or on the other hand, with using our plugin WP Rocket, you can take advantage of the delayed JavaScript execution feature. Next is to delay JS execution time until user interaction. You can optimize JavaScript resources and prioritize the scripts needed for interaction by delaying the JavaScript files and their execution time until user interaction. In other words, no JavaScript files will be loaded until user interaction, such as clicking a button or scrolling through content. As explained above, you should delay all the JavaScript files that affect loading time and interaction for no reason, such as the unused JS files that we included in the previous section. And as you already know, you have different options that you can delay JavaScript files. And by doing this, this is how you'll address the reduced JavaScript execution time in the PageSpeed Insights recommendations. Next is to minify JavaScript. By minifying JS files, you remove any comments, line breaks, and white spaces included in the code. The goal here is to make the file sizes smaller and faster. Now, minification can be time consuming and there's always the risk of missing out on anything. For these reasons, it's always best to use a minification tool or use WP Rocket. Our plugin is by far the easiest way to minify JS files in just a few clicks. All you have to do is enable the minify JavaScript file option in the file optimization tab. Next is to remove or reduce unused CSS. Removing or reducing unused CSS helps improve loading time. Therefore, it helps improve the interactivity and the FID metric. Our plugin offers a powerful feature that allows you to tackle unused CSS in just one click. Next is to async or defer CSS. Here, the main thread work can have a significant impact on interactivity and FID performance. This is why one of the PSI recommendations is to minimize main thread work. To address this issue and improve the FID time, you should defer or async the CSS files. When it comes to doing this, here's a two-step process to make the CSS render blocking resources load asynchronously. Extract and inline the critical path CSS using an available generator tool like this one on sitelocity.com. And then you load the rest of the classes asynchronously by applying the following pattern. Now, all of this can be found on the defer non-critical CSS article on web.dev if you wanna learn more about how to do this. But if you're looking for a faster and easier way to quickly take care of both critical and non-critical CSS, WRocket can help you. Under optimize CSS delivery, our cache plugin offers the load CSS asynchronously option that defers non-critical CSS and inlines critical CSS. Please note that if you have already enabled the remove unused CSS option, you can't choose this option because you simply won't need it. Next is to compress text files. As you can probably guess at this point in the video, compression is definitely something you need to take care of. And it goes without saying that enable text compression is one of the PSI recommendations that also apply to FID times. By using compression and reducing file sizes, the browser and the server will send files over faster. The most common compression formats are gzip and broadly. And just so you know, broadly is the most recommended format right now. You can read more about these in our dedicated article that I'll leave linked below in the description. The easiest way to enable this gzip compression on WordPress is by using a plugin. For example, our plugin includes gzip compression by default. Next is to break up long task. 
When the main thread is busy and blocked, the FID grade is negatively affected and the page can't respond to user inputs nor interactions. The main thread is blocked because of the long tasks that the browser can't interrupt. That is all the tasks running longer than 50 milliseconds. To solve this issue, you should split long running scripts into smaller chunks that can be ran in less than 50 milliseconds. You can do this with content visibility. Content visibility is a new powerful CSS property that can help boost the rendering performance by enabling the user agent to skip an element's rendering work until it's needed. Currently, this CSS property only works on Chrome and the majority of browsers based on it. So if this video has helped you, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And also subscribe to our newsletter to get easy and effective web performance tips to speed up your website. And also check out this playlist right here if you wanna learn more about speeding up your website and making sure that you're not losing out on customers due to slow load times. Goodbye and have a good day.